Here is a quick video showing the progress on the pick and place machine. The motors for the three axes are here for the Z axis. This is the X axis and it moves left and right. And the Y axis is here moving the whole gantry back and forth. The X axis and Z axis are mounted on a plate that rides along the, the gantry. The X and Y axes use timing belt for their main drive mechanics. The Z axis uses lead screw for its mechanics. Lead screw here, a coupling for the connection between the motor and the lead screw, and it brings this entire assembly up and down. Connected to the Z axis rail is another motor that controls the orientation of the device that it's picking up. And right now I just have it connected to a uh, piece of a, a mechanical pencil, and it is uh, coupled to the motor with a coupling, and this is considered the A-axis. The X and Y axes are fitted with homing switches due to the necessary repetitive precise positions in picking and placing devices from the reels to the, the printed circuit boards. Currently I'm using these pockets, these uh, linear pockets, to keep the reels steady or reels in position and using a, using a plexiglass to hold it down. I'm going to show reel advancement and retraction of the reels. <laughs> The other method that I used uh, to to align the the reels was was grooves on the actual wood, but I've changed that to grooves on on the plexiglass. We can see it's put facing down where these grooves are on the bottom of the of the plexiglass, and you can adjust the height of these using spacers or shims or something underneath the. The plexiglass and this is done because uh, there are varying thicknesses of of reels one example would be um, a reel that is uh, carrying uh, an SD card reader you can see the thickness of this is is much different from the thickness of a, of a standard reel carrying uh, capacitors or resistors so in the case of the thicker reel the entire plexiglass is shimmed up with, with washers and it still stays in place. You can see that these are configurable where you have uh, many bays on which you can um, put different types of plexiglass um, groove patterns and there's one wide one over here for the for the wider the wider reels. You can put a pretty wide reel here as well but it's mainly meant for the smaller thinner reels. As the reels are advanced and emptied these holes are provided to allow the reels to go underneath and continue down underneath the machine. And finally, a large pocketed area was provided so the printed circuit board can be placed um, at one corner and then clamped with a fence clamp towards the, the printed circuit board. A large area was created like this so you could put multiple uh, boards of the same size or even different sizes depending on um, how it's arranged and, uh, and clamps that allow a a sliding motion can be pressed against the boards and then screwed down or fastened down to keep the boards uh, in place while the machine is placing the, device or the components.